We can't say what might befall us. And just as you give me your word, I give you mine. Stand by my hand. Since it released back in August of 2014, Outlander's become the most popular series in the history of the Stars Network, using the concept of time travel to fuel a romance-driven plot full of unexpected twists and turns. And with the chemistry felt and character development established, it's no wonder that Season 6 is one of the most anticipated releases of the future. But what do we really know about Season 6 of Outlander, and when can we expect it to arrive on our screens? Well, whether you're a fan of the relationship between Claire and Jamie, or you just want to know more about the future of the franchise, stay right where you are, as we're going to explore everything there is to know about Outlander Season 6. So strap yourselves in, get ready for some time travel, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on post notifications so you never miss another update from us. The Renewal of Outlander Although Season 5 of Outlander came to an end in May of last year, with filming and production having bait the terrible delays brought on by the global health situation, fans didn't have to wait long to hear that the franchise had been renewed for a sixth season. Season. In fact, it's not going to surprise longtime viewers of the Stars Network to be able to hear that the network has so much faith in the Outlander franchise that it renewed the show for both a fifth and sixth season back in May 2018. There were, however, reports that budgetary concerns brought on by the global health situation might have caused the studio to push back the time release, or even go back to their word and put the newest installment on ice for now. We're happy to say that these reports were nothing more than fabrications, though with the sixth season of the franchise having started filming in February of this year, the release date of season six. And since the filming of the franchise only recently kicked off once more, you're not going to be surprised to hear that there have been no official announcements regarding the release date of the newest season. In fact, we don't even expect there to be an official announcement until after filming and post-production have concluded, gone to the days when a release date would be announced a year in advance. This is in part due to the draconian lockdowns, harsh and albeit nonsensical mask mandates, plus social distancing orders, which have not made any of the filming exactly normal. Since now have to be regulated by a number of safety precautions, which definitely brings with them a number of delays and have the effects of pushing back any expected release dates. This is why networks and streaming platforms alike have taken a not announcing release dates until they're absolutely sure that the property will be able to be released on that specific date. It is far better for a fan to wait for an official announced release date than to end up finding out that it's just going to be delayed. According to Sam Hugan, who is known for his portrayal of Jamie Fraser in the Outlander universe, there might be a pretty big wait up ahead when it comes to the release of season six of the franchise. When as my digital spy when fans were going to be able to expect the release of the newest installment, Sam referred to the fact that season five of the franchise was riddled with unexpected delays and was actually released a full five to six months later than expected. In his own words, quote, it almost came five or six months late last year. We did have a lot of press during that time. I'm not sure the exact date of the moment, but I think it might be the same. There's going to be a drought lander, but they can go see my movies. Sam also responded to a fan on Twitter who asked whether he had read the season six scripts yet by stating that the crew and cast had hoped ready started filming each episode. This is exciting news, considering how filming of season 6 was wrapped up to begin with back in May of last year. To avoid any further delays, the cast and crew of the show will be living in their own separate bubble for the rest of the world, so as to not delay things any further. Sam went on to say the following about the situation, quote, It doesn't matter if it's an intimate scene or regular scene, we're going to be in contact with one another, so I think we will be in our own bubble. It just won't be the actors, it'll be our core team of hair and makeup. You literally can't do the job without having everybody around you. I know we have a strict set of rules and it's going to take some time getting used to, but we will be safe. We are being tested, we have face coverings, so we're going to be in a really safe place. It would seem that the cast and crew are both confident in Outlander Season 6, as well as it's on its way to being filmed, and if delays are avoided due to the bubble that's been set up for everyone to be involved in, we can probably expect stars to feature the season somewhere around June of next year, using visual effects to ensure prolonged safety. Since Outlander requires a vast number of people to be in a scene at one time, this ended up posing a bit of a problem for the showrunners. It may be true that the extras in each scene can be tested before coming into the set, but the fact of the matter is that the more people that are involved in shooting, the bigger the risk. This is why the showrunners have decided to take steps to stop this from happening altogether. Executive producer Matthew B. Roberts had actually discussed the steps that were being taken with L a few weeks ago, summing them up as follows, quote, We put a lot of people in scenes, and keeping everybody safe is paramount. We've tried to limit the amount of supporting artists, and we're trying to utilize visual effects. In the deep, deep background, we can use digital people instead of what we were normally used to, being real actors. Extras. Every year, Outlander has a big event, and we're still planning on that event. We'll film the background extras in a separate time, and then 
put it all together in post. Although this sounds like a great idea, we're yet to see how it's going to look when season six comes around. The episode list of season six. No official announcement has been made just yet regarding the number of episodes that are going to be featured in season six of Outlander. Reports have indicated that season six may very well have just as many episodes of season five, being 12 in total. And although this might come as a disappointment to fans who were shocked in the decrease from 13 total episodes in season four, we just hope that the increased content of the show remains the same. Especially, it doesn't matter how long a season runs for. You wouldn't want it to feel long-winded after all. But as soon as an official announcement has been made regarding the episode list of the season, we'll make Make sure that you are the first to know. The cast of Outlander Season 6. Sam Hugan will be reprising his role as Jamie Frazier, as it would be a bit strange for him to know all of this relevant information about the newest season without at least being featured in it. And besides, Jamie is the leading male character of the franchise, with a lot between him and Claire being the only reason why the majority of the viewers actually watch the show. We can also thus expect Katrina Balfe to be returning as Claire Randall Frazier, with the chemistry between the two leads said to be even more intense this time around. They've been through quite a bit after all, so we can't wait to see what is next in store for their little love story. We also know that Richard Rankin will once again be portraying the role of Roger Wakefield, while Sophie Skelton replies her role as Brianna Randall. There have also been a couple of rumors flying around regarding the potential spin-off series from Outlander, which is said to circulate around the life of fan favorite Lord John Gray. In an effort to set this rumored series up, we can definitely expect David Barry to be featured quite prominently in Season 6, which would be in the show's best interest, considering just how loved he is. When talking about the possibility of a spinoff, Barry was recorded to saying the following, quote, I think the character is a great character. I really enjoyed those novels. He's sort of in the realm of hypotheticals, so a hypothetical world, yeah, I jump at the chance to play the character again in the right series. But other than poor Duncan LaCroix, who definitely won't be returning because of his character, Murtaugh Frazier, who died in a pre-revolutionary war battle, we can probably expect to see all other fan favorites returning for the sixth season. But let's be honest, we only really care about what's in store for Jamie and Claire, the plot of season six. Season six of Outlander is going to be loosely based on Diana Gabalton's sixth book in the franchise called The Breath of Snow and Ashes, and we can expect a plot that is somewhere on point with what's happening in the novel. The showrunners have been known to deviate from the source material quite a bit, so rather than reiterating what happened in the novel, let's take a guess based on the story that the previous seasons bought us. After suffering a horrible trauma at the end of last season, having been sexually assaulted and beaten by a group of men before being saved by Jamie, we all know that season six is going to be prominently featuring Claire's journey on the road to recovery. A trauma like this can really destroy your life, but we've got a feeling that after much emotional turmoil and support from Jamie, she's going to be able to rise above it all. Since it's also been revealed that Jamie's family is not the only time travelers of the franchise, we can expect a lot more discovery when it comes to the broader universe of the show. But what will this actually mean when it comes to the overarching plot? Only time will tell. So what do you think of the upcoming sixth season? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. And again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on post notifications so you never miss another update from us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.